Hey guys, welcome back to Creative Shack. My name is Lisa and today we are doing one of my favorites is Disney DIYs. These came out so cute. They were a lot of fun to make and definitely will put a smile on your face. If you are a Disney fan like me, you definitely have to watch this. And guys, let's get started. Okay guys, so the first DIY is a Ohana sign. So I did pick up this frame at Hobby Lobby on Clarence. This was a definitely steal. This was only like two something, like almost $3 and I couldn't resist. The reason why I picked this up was because the frame. I'm telling you, go thrifting, you know, go around your house, see what you can find. You know, you just never know. So what I did was I dissected this. And I just took the image out, which is actually a canvas. And um, I pulled out all the staples, you know, and I did take the glass out of there. So what you're seeing here is I'm just painting that canvas. I actually did it white and then I'm going back in with black because I decided I wanted to do black instead. So I'm doing a really thick coat of chalk paint on this. And then while that was drying, I decided to stain the frame with that Waverly wax um, just to give it that deeper tone because I did not like that yellow tone and then when the canvas dried I went in with a little cream um, dry brush a little bit and I actually did not like it so I decided to use this metallic paint from Michaels I'll link it below it's like a goldish color and I like that a lot better and then after that I decided to take this saying from Lilo and Stitch, Ohana, it means family and family means nobody gets left behind or forgotten. I love that saying. If you guys don't know me, I love Stitch. Stitch is definitely my favorite Disney character. So what I did was I just kind of plopped that on there. And the one thing I will tell you, vinyl actually doesn't stick to canvas very well so definitely take your time or use a smart vinyl um, that will stick better so what you guys can see here I actually um, got the silhouette of stitch off Etsy you can definitely find a lot of stitch on Etsy pick whatever one you want the only thing is you have to pay for it but you'll have it forever I had this stitch for like oh god for two years now so um this definitely comes in handy so what you can see here is I'm just kind of sealing it all together now I use the sealer from um, Joann's it do definitely lasts me I'll link it below because I use that for all my projects and then what you can see here I am just gluing that foam canvas board right back in there um, you guys can staple it in that kind of thing but I decided to to glue it and there you go guys this is so cute I love this project okay for the next DIY I picked up these two wooden planks from Walmart um, they were only a dollar 99 which I think is a really great deal for this size it's like a six by eight so what I did was I want to make one that looks like Mickey Mouse so I decided to tape it off and I want the top half to be bigger than the bottom half so I went in with my Apple Barrel red paint um, you can get Apple Barrel at Walmart if you um, don't have like a craft store near you um, Walmart is the go-to place and it is actually cheaper so I am painting the bottom of it um, a red color and then what I'm doing is I'm taking off that tape and then I'm going to stain the back of it and the side of it just to give it that rustic feel. Um, I always like things like on the vintage side, but you guys can paint it whatever color you want. So then I went back in and I took some more masking tape and I taped off where the red line is so it can be an even line. And then I'm going right in with my um, black paint and I only used one coat um, it all depends on what paint you have if it is acrylic I would do two coats this is actually folk art and the black um, is very thick it's like kind of like a chalk paint um, but it does definitely work very well 
And then what I did was I went on my Cricut machine and it needs two little buttons. So I actually pressed the shape button from the Cricut design space. And then all I did was just size it. And then I'm gonna go over to my Cricut machine and cut two ovals out of cardstock white paper. And then all I did was just stick it on there with um, some glue. And you can use whatever glue you would want, but I decided to do a glue stick. After that, I took some of my Waverly Wax and I just went over it with a dry brush stroke technique just to give it more of that rustic feel so it's not so perfect. And then after that, I went on my Cricut Design Space and I printed out this quote from Walt Disney. Laughter is timeless. Imagination has no age. Dreams are forever. Walt Disney. Now, I just Googled that um quote and then I just went on my Cricut design space and I just typed it right in there. If you guys like this font I will link that below for you guys. It is a font that reminds me of Disney. Um, it's not the actual Disney font but it is a little bit similar. And that's it guys. I thought this turned out so cute. So the next DIY I wanted to make a mini one um so i took the same wooden frame and then i took the scrapbook piece of paper if you guys like the scrapbook piece of paper it is by simple stories you can get it off scrapbook.com the say cheese line number three i absolutely love the say cheese line from disney so i am sizing that tracing it around and then i am cutting that now what you can see here i'm just making sure it fits perfectly you might have to do some trimming like I did but you definitely have to make sure it fits perfectly and then I'm going to take some Maj Podge now I like to do a light coat of Maj Podge um, some people like to do a heavy coat it all depends on you um, you can even stick this paper to the wood with a glue stick you can always do it that way and then I'm sticking it right onto that wood frame and then after that I decided to make sure the corners are like really gooped up um i just like to do that just because and then i'm taking this little wooden plank of wood um you can get these at dollar tree they come in a huge pack i think you get like 10 of them for a dollar um so i decided to stain that with my Waverly wax and that's going to go in the middle of the sign so after that i'm going to put another coat of Maj Podge on top of the scrapbook piece of paper. I really like this saying, home is where the magic is with that Disney castle. Now you can pick up your Disney images on Etsy. You can get a big bundle pack of images. If you guys do not have a Cricut, there are stamps out there. There are stickers out there as well with Disney images on them. Um, as you can see right now, I am just sanding the corners, sanding the edges, just so it just gives it that nice finished look. And with this wooden plank, because now it's dried, I'm going in there and just um, dry brushing a little bit of black in there just to rust it out. Um, you can go in and sand it like how I did. You don't have to. This is just an option. But I really like it really vintage -y. And then I'm just going to stick that right onto that um, plank. And that's the same um, font that I used on the Mickey sign. So I wanted them to match. So, and then that's it, guys. And then all I did was just glue it right onto the middle of the um, wooden sign with some hot glue. And that's it. Okay, for the last DIY, I wanted to make a simple home sign for my cousin. So I went into my Cricut Design space and I found this home image and I just replaced the O with a Mickey head and then all I did was just size it. That's it. So I took this um, sign from Dollar Tree. I just took my Waverly Wax and I just um, waxed the beads and the outside of that frame and then I'm putting my image right on there that's how simple this is and this came out so cute as is but I actually felt like it needed a little something 
I don't know. Sometimes I like things plain, but I felt like this needed a little bit more. So I decided to use some black paint just to distress it a little bit with my chunky brush. And then I felt like it needed a little something else. So I decided to do a bow. Now this ribbon is from the Dollar Tree. Um, both of these ribbons, but I haven't seen them. I got this from last year. So this stuff, it was just in my stash. So I'm taking one thick ribbon and one thin ribbon and I'm cutting four pieces for each. And then as you guys can see, what I'm doing, I'm just placing them in each direction. And then I'm pinching it right in the middle and taking some twine and I'm wrapping it around and tying it and securing it. So I decided that it was a little bit too long for a bow for that sign. So I actually had to trim it. So when you're trimming bows, um, I like to cut it at an angle. Um, it They just look better. And then what I decided to do is try to figure out where the placement is going to be. Now try to figure out the placement first before you trim it down because I needed to do a little bit more trimming, that kind of thing. And then all I did was secure it with um, some hot glue and I placed it right on top of that frame. And this was my favorite DIY for today. Simple and cute. And if you guys like Disney DIYs, give me that thumbs up. And if you didn't subscribe, you can always subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. Take care.